Here we go. Christian here with cheap beat up Elvis vinyl. Got something in the mail. Zippo. What does that have to do with Elvis? Well, if you look right there, Elvis four piece gift set. What is it? You got some Elvis Zippo lighters. My buddy Johnny sent me this stuff. Look how cool these things are, man. That's a great one right there. So he sent me these. And he also sent me some loose ones. Now, I don't smoke, but if I did, that's the one I'd be using, I think, probably. So, getting Johnny to send me his Zippo lighters is the first step on the way to getting him to stop smoking. Got some nice little pickups for some cheap, beat-up Elvis vinyl. And first one here came out in January of 72. Been picking up a lot of, seems like lately I've been picking up more albums than singles, but not this time. Picked up this guy right here. We can make the morning until it's time for you to go. I was looking through a box of singles. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Very few picture sleeves. And the last single in the box was this one. Got it for, I think, a buck. I like this. Coming. Elvis's new album, Now. I love how they use the, the 45s to promote the upcoming albums, but this one's kind of different because it says right here, Coming, Elvis's new album, Now. And then you flip this part, this side, and it says, Coming, Elvis's new sacred album, He Touched Me. So they had... Two new albums from Elvis in the pipeline coming out. Man, they just pumping them out. Hey, guys, get to work. Come on, man. Get those Elvis albums out. Yeah, but, buddy, we're already pressing up. You got another one coming. Come on. We need more people. Hire some more people. Let's go. Elvis records. Get them. Move them. People were buying them. People like me. I'm still buying. Look, look. So, anyway. Next one I got here is this beautiful his hand in mine. I love the cover of this album. I think it is absolutely fantastic. I don't like how when they repressed it, they kind of just cut, put a circle around this picture, moved it to the middle. Why would you do that? Anyway, we'll talk about that later. Back of it, classic. Late 50s. This one came out December of 60. Just the black and white with some text. And then they're pushing... Peace in the Valley EP. Really nice. I had a couple of versions of this, but I didn't have this one. Let's see. It originally sold for $3.98. Nice. Next up, GI Blues. I had one of these, but this one is the Living Stereo. So I picked it up. I think this is a, a December 1960 repressing of it. Got a couple of pictures of Elvis in Army stuff. Now this one here, they got a couple of little stamps on it, you see. Miss Shirley Clark, C-H-E-R-L-Y, Shirley Clark, and she's from Portageville, Maryland. She put her sticker, her uh, stamp on there all those years ago and somehow this little piece of vinyl from 19 and 60 this little thing moved its way all the way down probably mississippi probably jumped on a on a barge came down the mississippi and made it all the way to mandeville louisiana right on the other side of the lake from New Orleans, Louisiana. Beautiful, beautiful uh, record. Very happy to get it. I got all of these for no more than $5 each. Got another version of Elvis's Christmas album. This one being the stereo version. You notice 
when they went from living stereo to stereo, they used the same font. They just, uh, let's save some ink. Instead of calling it stereo, living stereo, we'll call it stereo. This one has the wonderful back cover. I just think this is so Christmassy, so 60s Christmas. Beautiful, really like this one. Now you see it was it was kind of flipped up a little bit because you see that the the printing for the binding is right on the top there. So somehow this one got twisted a little bit. But you see what it was. None of that was printed on the cardboard. It was all stickers. They put that front sticker on and they put the back sticker on. So the sticker guy slipping a little bit that day. The sticker guy was slipping. Okay. Next up, Burn Love. Now I picked up this one. It's a Pickwick Camden, which I've had before. But this one has, they had two different back covers on it. Here's the other one. This is the one I picked up. And it has... Aloha from Hawaii, uh, coming in early 1973. And this here is a 76 printing of the same thing, but you see they have a different back cover then. They don't have the, they're not pushing the Aloha anymore. Now they just have all the Pickwicks back here. So I was glad to get that one. And next up, got another Blue Hawaii. Got a few copies of this. Got a mono, a stereo, a living stereo, um, a fading stereo, um, scratchy cough stereo. This one was a 76 repress. You can tell it's got the 70s RCA logo on it. Now, I think in this one, I think they thought a very important thing was to let you know how many songs were on this record. <clears throat> 14. Let me read down here, and you, you might have forgot by the time you get to hear, oh, yeah, yeah, 14. They got 14 on it. So, this one, Blue Hawaii. When they redid those um, in the, I think, 90s, when they would put two soundtracks on a CD... This was one that, maybe the only one that they didn't do it for, because this one sold so well on its own. This was uh, a big hit album. And it has, uh, it's got 14 songs on it. It's not widely known, and they don't really talk about it a lot, but it's got 14 songs on it. Now I was very, very happy to get Girl Happy. Man, this one has eluded me. And there it was, sitting right there. This came out in April of 65. This may be a first pressing. Don't rightly know. And this one belonged to Sharon and Jim. This was, uh, they co-owned this. I guess they went in, co -signed, maybe he co-signed the loan for her to get it. But anyway, beautiful girl, happy. I like this color. The back is questionable. That look, it's really very realistic. Elvis standing on that boat right there before Photoshop, but somebody did a did a nice little piece of work there getting it getting it on there. Girl happy. Now, like I said, this one eluded me for a long time, and I think one of the reasons it may have eluded me is because I was confusing it. With this one, look, they're the same color. And when you're looking through a big ton of records, when I, you know, I may have passed this up when I first started collecting just because it looked a lot like this one before I was a little more tuned in. But I don't know why would you use the same or such a close color on two albums that came out. This one came out in April of 65, and this one I think came out in 66, maybe. 
here, Shannon Miller bought it in October of 66. So you put out two albums within a year, maybe of each other, give or take a little bit. And they're this similar looking. All I had to do is put a different color as the back on here. But anyway, I got it. Here's one I picked up. Now, I don't pick up stuff that's from after Elvis passed unless it's something really cool. This one never really caught my fancy, and it came out after he passed. Gee, it looks weird. It looks like a like something you'd have bought off like KTL Records, something off of TV. Yeah, the Memories of Elvis series. That isn't a sticker. That's that's printed on there. So I wasn't really interested, and then I turned it over, and it's a promo. So I I didn't have any Elvis promo albums. So came out in February '79. Five bucks got me an Elvis promo album. So I was very happy about that. So it was a nice little haul. Had a blast doing it. Didn't have to spend a whole bunch of money, like I say all the time. All the time, like I say, when we're visiting like this. You don't have to spend a whole bunch of money. It's just fun. Go out there, look through the, the cheap bins, get tons of them for a dollar. And it's fun. And then if you want to upgrade, you can. Do whatever you want, whatever makes you happy. And once again, thanks, my buddy Johnny. Thank you, baby. Had a bunch of presidents, tons of governors, lots and lots of mayors, senators, congressmen, blah, blah, blah. But we only had one king, baby, and that's Elvis Parsley. Thank you, Elvis. Okay, fine.